Looks like he has taken off without me. Are you putting it on the dyno? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. What? <laughs> So yeah, and Mitch are just finishing installing the Dyna Packs onto the G80. Uh, the Dyna Packs are a little different than your typical Dyno Jet like this one over here. The Dyna Packs allow you a little bit more flexibility and uh, customization when it comes to testing your vehicle, or in our case, a part. So if you want to target a specific load on the vehicle, you can increase the load with the Dyna Packs. If you want to target a specific RPM range or speed, you can also do that with the Dyna Packs. So really what you can do is create these scenarios or real world environments without the vehicle ever leaving the facility. Yeah, so now we have our GATM straight strapped onto our dyno pack. We are going to do some baseline testing on the stock intake. And then we are going to switch over to our quarter pack intake and compare the both. So the main difference of our intake compared to the stock intake is that on the passenger side, we're replacing the turbo snout. The turbo snout is a cast aluminum section that directly connect to the turbo. So we are replacing it with our own version. This version is going to get us a shorter and smoother transition to our conical air fuser. What we have installed on this side of prototype is a series of intake air temperature sensor and one pressure sensor close to the turbo. Another main difference compared to the stock intake is that we add a secondary inlet source that draws colder air from the bottom of the car. This will give us extra airflow and more colder air. Uh, there's many different types of tests we do. First one is power pull, where we are comparing the power and torque of the Mishi versus stock intake. This car run on speed density vessel, so it is unlikely we will be making power with stock tune. But we are also looking into the intake air tank. Like we talked about before, our intake design integrated extra airflow inlets. So we, we are interested to investigate how that, that is going to affect intake air tank. We will be monitoring uh, things like long term fuel trim, intake manifold pressure, and various intake air tanks. So I'm not sure if you can hear with all these fans and extractors running right now, but we have the Mishimoto air intakes in the vehicle, and there's definitely a noticeable sound increase. Or sound improvement, sound quality, it sounds better. So we just finished testing both intakes for the G80. Since we noticed uh, a difference in sound between the two intakes, I'm going to set up some mics here and we'll capture some high quality audio, see what it sounds like. I got a condenser mic set up right here next to the airbox, as you can see right here. And then I'm going to have the camera set up on this tripod here, recording the engine bay for any type of movement. And then I'll also have uh, the shotgun mic that's mounted on top of this air, top of this DSLR. And then what we'll do is we will do our air intake recording for the Mishimoto air intake. We won't move the tripod or the condenser mic, and then we'll swap it out to the stock air intake, and then we will do the same exact recording. That way none of the distances or measurements change whatsoever. We have finished dyno testing of both the stock intake and the Mishimoto intake. The intake air temperatures look good and the manifold pressures look good. As expected, we are making the same amount of horsepower and torque as stock intake. This is because the vehicle utilizes a torque-based ECU tuning strategy and you will not be able to gain performance without tuning. Important thing to keep in mind is that we were able to reduce air restriction by 22.8% and 13% respectively on the two intakes. 
Once the vehicle is tuned, this will allow you to take advantage of the extra airflow and potentially get more horsepower and torque.